telescopes by Zach Chukowski. There are many types of telescopes, such as the optical telescope, infrared telescope, and x-ray telescopes. These telescopes have differences, such as they all see in different wavelengths. Optical telescopes see in ultraviolet, visible light, and some of the infrared spectrum. X-ray telescopes observe the sky in the X-ray region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And infrared telescopes see in ultraviolet radiation and in infrared radiation. Infrared telescopes see into two different types of the electromagnetic spectrum, which are near parts of the electromagnetic spectrum and in the far parts of the electromagnetic spectrum. The near-infrared telescopes have a wavelength of between 700 nm to approximately 2000 nm. Far-infrared telescopes have a wavelength longer than 2000 nm. X-ray telescopes are located in space orbiting Earth. Optical telescopes are located in Chile, Hawaii, and New Mexico, basically in hot climates, and infrared telescopes are located in cold areas. As you see here, this is the Hubble telescope. It is a space-bound observatory. It is also an infrared telescope orbiting the Earth. This telescope has taken on several missions discovering many detailed images of galaxies and nebulas. There are many famous missions the Hubble telescope has done, two of which is the discovery of the Carina Nebula and the gas pillars in the Eagle Nebula. These images that are taken from the Hubble telescope are the clearest images you can find. Here's a video of the Hubble Telescope animated orbiting the Earth. It is at an altitude of 307 nautical miles or 353 miles above the Earth's surface. Its incline is 28.5 degrees to the equator. This is the Keck Telescope. This is the Keck's interior and the Keck's blueprints. It is located on Munaki, Hawaii and is about 13,796 feet above sea level. This telescope consists of an array of 36 hexagonal mirrors and the world's largest optical and infrared telescope. This is an example of an Earth-bound telescope, the Subaru Telescope. This is a picture of the outside of the Subaru Telescope, also an image of the inside of the telescope, and an image of its many missions it has done. The Subaru Telescope is located in Mauna Kea Observatory in Hawaii. In this video, you see the Subaru Telescope. The observatories can work separately, and they can work together to combine their light, known as interferometry. And then two telescopes act as a giant set of binoculars to combine their power to see stars. Another example of an Earth-bound telescope is the LBT Telescope. This is a picture of the LBT telescope, and that is the inside of the telescope. I also have an image of one of its several missions. The LBT is located in the Pinolino Mountains of Arizona. The Chandra X-ray Observatory observes the sky in the X-ray region of the electromagnetic spectrum. It has revealed much about the x Nebula. It has also discovered a supernova remnant inside the x Nebula. And the Chandra showed a never before seen ring around the central pulsar and gem that had only been partially seen by earlier telescopes. Here's a video of what the Chandra X ray Observatory has revealed throughout its many missions. This video is showing the central pulsar inside the Cap Nebula pulsing rapidly. The Herschel Space Observatory is a space telescope that is the largest space telescope ever launched into space. It has a mirror of 3.5 meters in diameter that is capable of seeing the coldest and dustiest objects in space. It is the only space observatory to cover the spectral range from far infrared to sub-millimeter wavelengths. 
It's mission to the early universe has remained hidden until now. now.